All right, guys. So this is a chain Joker sneaker principle, and I have this thing called gas. <sighs> Not the gas that comes to my stomach, but the gas that's stuck in my head when it comes to video and camera gear. So, um, gear acquisition syndrome. Um, I own a Canon, a couple of Canons, a Fuji, a Leica. I've owned um, Lumix cameras. I've owned, um, uh, well, quite a few, I mean, GoPros and things of that nature. And I've always felt like I had to buy all the accessories that go with that camera, specifically lenses. And um, um, a lot of them happen quite quickly. Some of them happen over a number of years. But now that I've now discovered Leica and, um, and I'm really enjoying the process of building my skill sets, my manual skill sets around Leica, um, my question is, do I now go out there and purchase other lenses for the Leica. Um, this Leica, this lens right here, the um, uh, Summicron M 28 millimeter um, F2, um, can buy um, a camera, a high-end camera with two lenses, just the cost of this lens. Um, it's 28. I enjoy, I enjoy taking pictures at 35 and 50, especially when I'm out and about. Um, telephoto, that's not my thing. Just literally capturing what I see around me. Um, and um, this right here could do the job, but there are times where I might be trying to capture a subject that requires me to get a little bit closer. Um, and I don't want to put a camera in their face because what I'm working with here is a, um, is a 28. So it's a wide angle camera, a sort of lens. So I want to be 30, maybe 50. And sometimes that, that could be a struggle until I discovered the fact that you can use a crop factor on this to get much closer in to your subject. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, so here we go. Let me see here. So as you can see right now, um, I'm trying to angle this so the lighting this, this doesn't really bother the image. So as you can see my screen right here, okay, it's just a circle focus point in the middle there. And that's my screen, all right? And this is 28 for the most part. A little bit, I mean, this the, the the viewfinder captures a little bit beyond 28, but for the most part, 28 will, will capture the majority of what's in this screen. When I go to a crop factor of 1.3, see those lines right there? That mimics a, a 35, still retaining the 60 megapixels that this camera has. So now, what happens when I go to 1.8? That's 50. How cool is that? Because now with those lines, I don't have to um, feel like I'm missing something by not having the 35 and 50. I can get it eventually when I plan to, but in the interim, the fact that I, I need this camera, my um, Leica M11P, to help train my mind on what I'm seeing and not be worried so much about the tech behind it, this is amazing. Yes, it is tech because it's digitally cropping the image and putting the lines and saying, okay, we're only going to take this section to mimic a 35 and 50. But how dope is that? Because now I don't have to be like, damn, I don't have the right lens. I do have the right lens. And now what I'm doing is I am um, taking advantage of the power of this camera to say, okay, let's get a little bit closer. So you can now frame a, comp a composure image around what you're looking for. If it's a 35 or a 50, you can do it with your 28 millimeter lens. Um, again, this is amazing. I wanted to share with that with you and hopefully this is helpful to someone out there. Uchi Njoku, Sneaker Principal, and I'll talk to you all soon. Be well.